Howdy y'all. Hi guys. It's Ryan. And Angela. From RNA Music. That's right. Favorite mom and pop guitar shop music lesson studio deep in the heart of Texas. And uh, it's, <laughs> it's Ask RNA time. Mm-hmm. Yes it is. You got beards and aglets everywhere. Yes. Crazy aglets. What you wearing? I'm wearing my, my I know him Santa shirt. <laughs> it's, it's Christmas yeah, it sweater lights, weather. It, it lights up. I don't know if I can get it to light up. Yay! Hey, it's blinking, yeah. You yeah. kind of see it there. You kind of see it. It's Christmas edition of Ask RNA. Yeah. Whoa, well, look at there. I'm trying to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. People are going to freak out. <laughs> oh gosh, it's not it's not working. Hold on. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> there he It's go. Christmas edition. This is probably coming out on Christmas Day. Ask RNA, Christmas time, we're at home. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna answer y'all's questions right now. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, welcome back to another episode. Ask RNA, I think this is 285, sure. right? Why something not? like that, 285, 286, whatever. Uh, we're at home in the den and we're gonna answer your questions because uh, it's the holiday season. Yes, it is. And, uh, you know, we're probably closed right now when you're watching this. So, <laughs> trying to get this done a little bit early. All right, only a couple questions. We'll get to them. Oh, I forgot my whole intro. Mm. We have a little guitar shop music lesson studio, Deep in Heart, Texas, mm -hmm. that we go in together. We That's teach right. lessons. If you're new here, subscribe. We answer questions. That's one of our videos. And there's unboxing videos and playing videos and gear videos and all kinds of stuff. Soon to be cooking videos. Yeah. Doing a stew, stew if, videos. If they, if they send it to me, I'll do it. <laughs> if you want to uh, support us in any way, small business, you can get some swaggy swag. Link in the description down below. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not that. <laughs> not this though. I mean, this is a logo, but yeah. not this hoodie. <laughs> well, we do have hoodies. There are hoodies. It's, it's hoodie weather. Go get you one. <sighs> anyway, Angela and I are going to answer some questions right okay. now. First question, Mike Whitfield. Are you guys on any platforms besides YouTube? I was about to go hashtag. Yes, it's all that. a hashtag. Yep. <laughs> Are you guys on any platforms besides YouTube? Like many people, I'm weaning myself off YouTube in particular and Google in general due to their left-wing activism. Ooh. I'd hate to miss you guys completely. Yeah. Yes, Mike, we are. Actually, if you go down to the description video, description of this video, and in every video, we have links to uh, our other pages. We have an Instagram, of mm -hmm. course, RNA Music Instagram. Uh, we have, what else we have? Uh, Facebook. Facebook. We got Twitter. a Facebook. We do have Twitter, actually. You need to start tweeting. I do. Uh, people are leaving YouTube. People are leaving YouTube for Twitter? Well, I think a lot of people are leaving so they can still be in. Because in Twitter the has more of a um, interaction with people that you know. <clears throat> like you can yeah. have someone famous actually talk or tweet back at you. So... I should. I mean, we do have a Twitter, and it is linked to our Facebook page. So anything I post on RNA's Facebook goes to RNA's Twitter. Right. I don't usually natively go into Twitter and tweet a little bit. Yeah. Tweet a little bit. <laughs> I was, tweet a little bit. I was gonna see. I'm all discombobulated because we're yeah. at home. And... How are you doing? <laughs> Inception. Mm -hmm. I forgot. What was I saying? We have a Facebook page that's linked to our Twitter. Yeah, so we have a Twitter. You can um, follow us on the, the tweeter, Twitter-pated thing. Yep. Uh, Facebook, Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's a commercial. There's a commercial in our commercial. <laughs> uh, let's see. Any other social medias? Uh, I have a Snapchat. There's a Snapchat for mm -hmm. r Music. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. yeah. That's about it. I think those are the main ones, you know, Facebook. Did you start a TikTok page? Do you have one? You just don't have no, 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 no. That's what, what did I say? Snapchat? Mm -hmm. uh, what I meant to say was TikTok. Okay. We have a TikTok. Okay. Don't use it a whole lot, but it is yeah. It is one of the... Uh, also have a... Um, uh, well, not. It's me on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. You can follow me personally, Ryan Lolly, on LinkedIn. Yeah. It's not a... We should do Patreon. I don't know if people would want to pay for... Any extra stuff? Well, you'd be surprised. Maybe I would be. Some of the people that I know that do Patreon, I'm like, really? People are buying that for me? People give you dollars for... For what? For that. So, yeah. You'd be surprised. I probably would be. 
No, TikTok is what I said. That's one of the, uh, right now, TikTok and LinkedIn are two of the social media websites that really still have quite a bit of organic reach. Almost yeah. everything else you have to pay to promote right. to really get it out there. Yes. And to be fair, it's actually super cheap. Mm -hmm. Like to run an ad on Facebook or Instagram is stupid cheap compared yeah. to running an ad in the newspaper or a television commercial or whatever. So, right. But uh, TikTok and uh, LinkedIn are still very much based Part around organic reach. Yeah. So we're trying to, I'm trying to get more into that, but mm -hmm. yeah. So follow us in those places, links down below for most of those. Some of them are not, but I'll try to add those in. And yeah. There you go. Thanks so much, Mike. See you on one of those other platforms. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. next question. Fat Philosopher, what did you get Angela for Christmas? What was the worst gift you ever gotten from Ryan? Ooh, that's harsh. Well, first of all, I can't tell you what I've gotten her for Christmas because it's, it's not Christmas, Christmas yet. I mean, you're watching this probably on Christmas Day. Right. But this is Christmas Eve Eve. Christmas Adam. It's Christmas Adam today. Mm -hmm. Right now we're filming this. It's what day is it? Wednesday? Mm -hmm. It is Wednesday night. So I can't tell you what I got her because she'll know. Yeah. But generally, for the last few years, it's like we tend to not buy each other really big Christmas gifts mm -hmm. so much. It's, you know, we we've got 10,000 nephews and nieces. Yeah. And, you know, our parents and then, of course, our kids. So we generally try to get gifts for everybody else. And then we're kind of, you know. The last. The last, you know. Which especially, really especially after his birthday, we... Because his birthday just happened, so a lot of times it's just... My birthday was like a week ago. You know, getting that done and then this, it's just, we, we focus mostly on the kids, so. But we do get each other stuff. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes. we'll get like socks or like a silly t-shirt or something like that. Yeah, so. now maybe next week, you, maybe next week you'll be able to say what I got you. Yeah, yeah. sure. So, all right, what's the worst gift I've ever given you? Um, I don't know. I don't know if there's been a worst gift. I Is any know. gift bad? Because it was a gift. Uh, Are such mm -hmm. things as bad gifts? Because mm -hmm. the thing about I think it is free. I think that the gift ha there ha there are not have been there are in people's lives, not at mine. Um, not very thoughtful gifts. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, like I've just because of those. It's been, you've been given a gift doesn't mean it was thoughtful. And I think that that's that's where the that's where the rub is is the it's like yeah I gave you a gift just so you can open something and you won't complain you know it's like uh, I'd rather you not give me anything or leave me alone because now I'm mad at you <laughs> you know <laughs> like one time I got a wind chime you're yeah. gonna you might hear it because it's quite windy right now there's a cold front blowing in I think, yeah. in Texas so. yeah it's supposed to be like in 27 in the next couple of days or something low of 27 yeah and um, I was like. A wind chime, really? Yeah. yeah. That's you. So you've you th gotten. You something. thought. I wonder what Ryan would really like for. Oh, I'm trying to think. Christmas. Have I gotten something that was just like, oh wow, really? <laughs> if I have, I've blocked it out. Yeah, it's it's because I can't I can't think of it. I mean, we've been together for so long. I'm sure there's been a gift that I've just been kind of pissed that he gave it to me. I'm sure that I was like, really crap. Yeah. That was probably... Have fun with your awesome gift that I spent a lot of time thinking about. <laughs> that was probably 18, 19, 20 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. When he was learning how to... Well, you're still kind of learning how to give <laughs> gifts. <laughs> but I think most guys are. Unless you were, were raised that way, most guys are bent to not really knowing how to give gifts. Unless you were like raised that way mm -hmm. or unless you were bent to like my mom was never i'm never gonna do that to my wife because my dad was horrible to my in my mom so i'm gonna be a complete opposite you know like those people who do the op way opposite You're the off complete of their, opposite of what you were raised of the race but yeah i can't think of anything honestly like honestly i'm not saying that because i don't want to hurt ryan's feelings he obviously i have no problem saying so like oh yeah it was a blah 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 you know, it's a little funky, you know, like as an adult, mm -hmm. it doesn't really, doesn't really matter, you know? It, like, I think it does to a certain extent. I think it, like, it goes back to what I said before, it matters about the intent. Not like, oh, I just picked up this piece of crap because, you know, I just didn't want you to feel left out. I know it has nothing to do with anything <laughs> that you ever want to do in your whole entire life, but here you go. 
Yeah. You know, and people do that like all the time where like that video of like, and I got a robe, you know, like it's just like, oh crap, you know, you go through all this time thinking of stuff and then I think it's the thought yeah. behind it. Even if it's small, it's truly the thought that counts. Because you're thinking, well, I noticed that you're interested in this, so I did this for you. I noticed that you were really wanting this, or you were talking to your mom the other day about this, and so, or your dad, or your friend, or, you know, you mentioned this, and you're, I saw that your eyes lit up, so blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I think that that matters. But in the end, I mean, if you weigh it, it compared to that person, no, it does not matter. You know. All right. Next question. <laughs> Sean Adams. Hashtag money, please. If your current income was guaranteed for life and you were not allowed to work or earn a penny, what would you spend your days doing? Also, favorite book of all time. Oh, gosh. That's first like, of all. That's a little depressing. I wouldn't. <laughs> First of all, I wouldn't take that deal. I wouldn't take like, that deal. No, nah, thanks. I'm just going to keep working. Yeah. Because no. my current income level is not enough. It's not. Uh, no. Yeah. So I need to be able to make more money in 2021 than I made in 20. And I need yeah. to make more money in 2022 than I make in 2021. It's like, we right. need to like continue this. Yeah. I would it doesn't need to be like this. Current income. For oh, the next 50 years. Nice. I don't need it to be stay what it is right now. I need it to go like. Hey, whoa, like that. Yeah. We need to there, <laughs> yeah. I want to retire one day. You know? Yes. So There's I would not take that deal. Yeah. Now, let's say we have talked about this. It's like, what if we won $66 million on the Texas lottery tomorrow? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like, all right, well, that's pretty good. We could probably live the next 50 years on $66 million. I would think so. You know, so let's phrase it that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What would you spend your time doing? If money was no whatever, it yeah. didn't matter. You had more money than you needed mm -hmm. for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. What would you spend your time doing, Angela? Um, I probably would, you know, spend a lot of time with Aiden and Nicholas and you. You just going and having fun and chilling out and, you know, going to museums because I've, you know, I've only been to like a couple of museums in my life because we've never really had the money to go and spend like fifty dollars a person to get go into places and go see things like that. Or anytime so, we have, we've been like, well, that yeah, was well, that was really that was a lot of money. That was for, a lot of money for just a couple of things we liked, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but I would like to, you know, uh, do stuff like that and travel and just see the United States and then go outside the United States and just keep on going a little bit further until we've seen the world and and but spend as much quality time with the boys as possible yeah until especially until they get their own life life you know married children and do their own thing and then because then they'll um, be busy doing their own thing yes and then I just can just go visit them and do my own thing paint draw i'd probably still podcast and interview people and meet people and actually travel to meet them you know i would love to do that all the people like you guys i would love to be able to say hey we're dropping by like doing hey, door we're to door in cincinnati ask today. Our name in person and we just draw a name out of the bucket and we're like hey we're gonna go see you fat philosopher hey we're, we're in ohio you know? <laughs> come, come by. we're gonna go see you sean adams we're gonna go see you hey bye. we're in california for the next two weeks yeah that would be awesome. Come to hang be out too. at the Hilton. Yeah. We're going to, y'all come over and we're going to have a party. We uh, will. We've chill rented, out. We've rented a conference room at the Hilton in San Diego. Come yeah, chill. Come chill with us. Maybe like seven people show up. <laughs> That's okay. Maybe three. We would have so much fun. We would have a great time. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I would, I, would, I think that would be. Yeah. Fun. I think, uh, yeah, that's a whole other story because if, if it was our current income, we couldn't do that. No. Because <laughs> you still got to pay bills. We'd be like, okay, I guess we were just sitting at home paying our bills. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. We wouldn't be able to do anything. <laughs> if it was our current, we'd just sit at home. Yeah. You still have electric bills and car payments and yeah. taxes and insurance and mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. Um I, I would, yeah, we'd travel. That'd be fun. Mm -hmm. I think we, we, we get a nice, like, 
No, maybe not a tour bus because that's too big. I don't want to drive that. No. Like something. I would just get like a little RV thing. Yeah, an RV that's easy enough to drive and like travel. I'd love to go see yeah. everything. Yeah. You know. All the things. Have a bit like go to the Redwoods. Yeah. California. I, want, I don't to, like man made structures at like at all. I just, I kind of despise them a little bit. Um, <laughs> but I would love to see like, like God created things like. The mountains. Yeah, the mountains and the, like you said, the redwoods and Grand Canyon and, yeah. and stuff like that. You know, different oceans, glaciers, different beaches around the world, and you know, different national parks and stuff like that. That's what I would like to do. Yeah, we could just travel in the RV and go all over America. Yeah, see everything there is to see, which would probably take a while. It'd take a little while. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. But we have we we'd have internet, so of course I, I take that back. I would actually love to go on a road trip and see all the the largest insert, of, you know, crazy thing ball of twine. Yes, and largest, largest piece of bubble chair. gum that's been chewed. Largest needle in a haystack pile. I don't know, <laughs> like like <laughs> exactly largest large. domesticated house cat. Yes, I would like to do that. That would be fun and. Just travel and go to these little podunk towns that have made themselves known because they have the largest pancake, the largest, the largest, pancake. The largest donut, the largest, you know, <laughs> door. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, so you travel and then I would probably collect guitars yeah. and continue to do like guitar stuff because that's, yeah. I'm fairly obsessed with that. Yes. Like I'm. Even when I'm off work, I'm staring at guitars on the internet. Like, ooh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that one. I should probably spend more time making music than staring at guitars. Yeah. So maybe I would finally make time to actually make music. Finish that album. Finish it. Hashtag, how's, hashtag, how's, hashtag, your album? how's your album going? Yeah, I'd probably finish, finish that EP I've been working on for 15 years. But. Yeah. Uh, also, favorite book of all time. Oh, gosh. Um, I know. Favorite book of all time is Magician's Nephew. It's the, the first book in the Narnia series. Mm. Favorite book. All time. Uh, Other than the Bible. Oh, okay. I was going to say, mine's the Bible because <laughs> yeah, right. I'm a better Christian than you are. Whatever, Aiden. The Bible. Yes. No, it's not the Bible because it's, I mean, it is the Bible, but it's not, I don't think of it as a book. Like, like It's not a book. Yeah. It's not like. Lord of the Rings. or Right. You know, it's a different category. Catcher in the Rye or it's something. It's a like standalone that. category. Yeah. Ah. It would be The Magician's Nephew, which is the first book. Everybody think it's, thinks it's The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe because that's the first movie they made. Mm -hmm. But actually, it's The Magician's Nephew. And that is awesome. It's really, really good. How many times have you read it? Probably like four or five. Yeah. I think that would have to be the test. It's like, what book have you read? Several times, just like you know, we have favorite movies, yeah. and you know, like we watched The Princess Bride 7,000 times, mm -hmm. yeah. So, I think for your favorite book of all time, it has you to be one that you, you read multiple read times, it. yeah. And I read what's funny is that I didn't read it until I was an adult, reading it to the boys, and um, I had never read any of the Narnia books mm -hmm. like ever. I watched the PBS special movie, you know. Thing that they put out like in the early 80s but or 70s maybe mm -hmm. but I never had read read the books never read them so yeah okay there you go that little house on the prairie series <laughs> when i was a little girl i read that a lot, a lot i i did not read those a little house on the prairie the cat staring at me what do you want i think she's looking at my earrings Every time my earrings bobble, she flicks up real fast, thinking that's something. There's a cat behind the camera. You guys can't see it, but we can see her. <laughs> She's our studio audience. Our live studio audience of yes. one today. <laughs> Ember Sparkle Cat. Mm -hmm. I don't know what mine is. I'm trying to think of what, what book have I read multiple times. I've read a lot of books. Yes, you have. Like I read. You, you like those really good novel -y series books. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I think of, there's the Dragon Lance series of books now i haven't read one of those in forever but yeah. you know there was a whole it's very i mean if you read through them it's like oh it's 
friggin' Lord of the Rings is what it is. It's basically what it is. Yeah. Just it's like a splash of Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. E. <laughs> but that's that's what Lord of the Rings is. I mean, that's what Dungeons and Dragons is based off of. So right. it's pretty much the same. It's like an alternate. It's like it's the Star Trek to Star if, Wars. Star Wars, yeah. If Lord of the Rings is Star Wars, then Dragonlance is Star Trek kind of a thing. Gotcha. But I've read the three main books. I mean, there's a truckload of books in that. Mm -hmm. But there's the three. You know, it'd be like episode four, five, and six of Star Wars. Right. The first trilogy. Um, I've probably read that. I've probably read those a couple of times, maybe three times. Mm -hmm. Look how cute you are. <laughs> All right. Um, but I've read. You know, I've read like a bunch of Stephen King books. I've read mm -hmm. Ivanhoe. That was interesting. That was a difficult read. Yeah. I read. You know, a lot of classic. You know. Beowulf. Fiction stuff. Yeah. You know. And then you know, uh, freaking. Ernest Hemingway and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, all the stuff that everybody's like, oh, this is so, whatever. Like, have you read this Dragonlance book? It's freaking awesome. Yeah. Have you, know. you have you read Percy Jackson? <laughs> Quite a few Star Wars novels that are yeah. all, mm -hmm. you know, back before we had episode one, two, and three, there was a truckload of Star Wars novels, and I read the majority of those, and they're yeah. thick. I mean, they're like super thick. Mm -hmm. it's, they're very yeah. long books, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's the only thing that, that springs to mind that I've read. Yeah. Fiction wise that I've read. Yeah, those are the fiction several books. times. I don't know. Non fiction, what is my favorite book? The Bible. <laughs> I know. People will be like, That's debatable. Yeah, says you. <laughs> um <laughs> But uh, um, well our friggin' history books are all fiction. Half of them are fiction. Legit. History is written by the winners. It doesn't mean it's true. Right. Anyways. I don't know. Um, Art of War. <laughs> you haven't read that. <laughs> When's the last time you read that? I started reading it in high school. Uh-huh. I did. Moby Dick. Read that in high school. See, those are Great just... Expectations yeah. was good. Great Expectations, Christmas Carol, a lot of Charles Dickens books were mm -hmm. really good. Um... Weathering Heights is good. Um, the Bronte Sisters, anything from the Bronte Sisters are good. Um, Jane Austen, awesome author. I just don't love a lot of the, you know, the classics. Yeah. I like classics like that. Um, Sense and Sensibility was really good. And, um, Those are girly Pride books. And, Pride and Precious. Those are girl books. <laughs> you know what? Though <laughs> <laughs> well, they are. Uh, but they're good. They're very well written. They're hard to follow um, with all of these and nows and therefores and henceforths and and all that stuff. There's so much stuff in there. You're like, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? Um, but they're good. They're still really good books. Emma. Um, yeah. Total Money Makeover to buy Dave Ramsey. Yeah, I start naming them, and I'm like, man, I've I've read a lot of books, like classics. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah. Old Man to See. Mm. Was it White Fang? Yeah. White I Fane. did like that. Like, uh, what White was the Fane other was one? Good. White Fang. Call the Wild. Call the Wild. Mm -hmm. I did read that as a kid. Yeah, yeah, I did a book report in the seventh grade on Call the Wild. Yeah. I did not read the whole book. I just skimmed it, and I remember watching the movie. You cheated. So I was like, there was this man <laughs> and a dog. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever get into got westerns? Got me, though. I never got into westerns. No. Novels. Mm -hmm. I like western TV shows, but I never... No. It's no. more about the swords and the dragons and the yeah. space, you know. I never read, like, spacey, sci-fi-y books. I was big sci-fi. Like I read several Arthur C. Clarke stuff, childhood, mm. and yeah. What was the other one? Uh, what oh was gosh, it? what's that one famous one? By Arthur C. Clarke. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I read. I read a lot of those. Yeah. But um, not in a long time. Nowadays, I read stuff like you know, guerrilla marketing and. <laughs> You know, yeah, money maker. Now it's like self help books. It's like, like Gary V books, yeah. you know, like business stuff and marketing mm -hmm. things. I haven't read fiction 
no. books in a long time. Yeah. So. All right. Well, uh, there you go. Next. Year. She's like, you about to pet me? Mm -hmm. No, I ain't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> next question. Brian Strausser, do y'all eat armadillo or rattlesnake? Why? Because we live in Texas. We obviously <laughs> eat rattlesnake and armadillos. Oh. When I think of eating armadillos, I always think of that scene in Emperor's New Groove whenever Pancha gets that pill bug and he's just like pops it open and it's just like <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think of armadillo. That. Would be like if you cooked an armadillo and you just like popped it open as it's and just So no No and no. I've had snake. Ooh. I've eaten snake, yes. Where where'd you have that? At um a friend's house when I was in high school. Like they caught it and cut it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's just wrong. You gotta go to like Outback if you're gonna have some steak. Cause they did a snake. It, they did it all the time though. It was a thing that they did all the time. It was their thing. Her dad did, you know, he had, he had snake. I was like, what I felt like he I had, had something snake, in my mouth. He had snake fangs? He had snake skins like, like hanging, you know, like everywhere. Like all the, I didn't like it. Yeah, I, mean, I just had like this little bitty piece because you know it just made me sad inside to eat it. <laughs> and did I was like, this isn't right. This isn't. You're <laughs> this not supposed to natural. eat this. It's like eating dogs. Yeah, you should not eat chihuahuas. Yeah, yeah. I've never. I never thought you can eat armadillo. I didn't know you could. I never heard of that. I mean, you can I eat squirrels. Know. So I guess if you can eat squirrels, if you can eat rats. I don't know what armadillo would be likened to to compare to anything that you would want to eat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like possum. Because armadillos are like scavengers. People eat possums, don't they? Yeah, they do. Possums so it's do. It's probably like a... Uh... No, but armadillos, they're they are kind of like, I don't know, they're like... Not... Amber, why don't you lick a little louder? Lick yourself a little bit louder. <laughs> Speaking of armadillos. Yeah, she is an armadillo, isn't she? I've never had snake or armadillo. Yeah. Probably weirdest thing I've ever eaten, and I don't eat weird things, mm -hmm. is rabbit. Which yeah. is not even that weird. That's like, no, that's not, not, not in the South. It's no. not a freaky thing, but I had never had a it before, ever. A lot of people eat rabbit around here. Yeah, I had it one time. Mm -hmm. And it was fr like so fried, did I. like fried. It was like fried chicken, it was like fried rabbit. It was okay. I, I ate it. I can't even think about it. I mean, I ate some of it. I have PTSD from that. But I don't, I have PTSD too. I have it from that moment. Like oh, my, me and my yeah. sisters, we all have this thing. This is family. I'm just going to say it. They were the hots and they, that's their, that was their names. And a long time ago, they're like distant cousins with us. And, and we went over to their house and he said, we're having rabbit for, or no, he said bugs. He said, we're eating bugs. And we're like, hey, bug, like, we thought like roaches, like cockroaches. cockroaches, you know, beetles and stuff. He was like, no, bugs, bunny, watch that doc. And, and then when we went for dinner, she apparently later that day, we found out like I'm gagging that well, you tell um, the story if you're gonna gag. that he had cleaned it, killed it. And granted, we were in a neighborhood, not in the country. In it was Dallas. a neighborhood in Dallas. And this man killed skinned and just cut up a rabbit in his garage and left the bucket of innards inside of their garage. And we had it that night for dinner. Like it was fresh, like fresh. And his wife cooked it up and put it in spaghetti. It's like chicken so spaghetti. So for years I could not eat spaghetti chicken until spaghetti. I was probably uh, when we got married. Like, like rabbit I, spaghetti. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. But we all, all of us, we all, when we mention that time, we all get this just like, panic feeling in our hearts you know it's just like the weirdest thing so yeah i've since then i have not unless someone snuck it in something and i didn't know what it was and they wouldn't tell me because i told the story and they were like yeah let's just keep that on the download and don't tell her what she just ate um but i haven't eaten anything crazy since then mm. i mean i had well rattlesnake in high school and then i've had shark that was see at, remember the coffee landing? I would that, probably have shark before I had rat, before I had rattlesnake or armadillo. Yes. Or I liked shark. Know. It was it's a nice clean 
like fish doesn't white, freak me out. white meat. I don't really like fish, but mm. it doesn't freak me out to eat it. Yeah, I just uh, think eating a shark is just cruel because it's kind of like eating whales. Yeah, because sharks are, you know, they're not. It's like eating a tiger. Hey, we just butchered a tiger. You want some? Yeah. What? They're very intelligent creatures, so it's not like. Are they or are they killing machines? I mean, they're they, pure know, what, killing they machines. know exactly what they're doing. Do they? But I just, you know, it's not like trout or salmon. You know, it's just, I don't know. It's That's just something super wrong. racist to put <laughs> sharks above trouts. Trouts have feelings too. Yeah, I guess they do. I mean, I guess they know to migrate. It's, it's similar. So. To, it's like eating evil dolphins. <laughs> they are evil. <laughs> they deserve it. Yeah. No, I don't, Would you I eat shamu? I just think it's no. just weird. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it. We only like to eat dumb animals. <laughs> I think that's what it is. That people feel comfortable. If you're going to eat an animal, you want to eat stupid animals. Like cows are stupid. <laughs> some cows are. Some cows are not <laughs> stupid. Cats. Cats. Now, some cows some are cats like act sadistic stupid, and mean. But I don't want to eat cat. Yeah, and dogs you know. are stupid too sometimes. Horses are smarter than cows. That's why we don't usually eat horse. I, this has turned into a weird conversation that I really like to get out of. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Just Fun Guitar with the animal questions. Mm -hmm. We just segue right into Just Fun Guitar because we yes. talk about animals. And he yes. doesn't actually have an animal yes. question. It says, new question. Do Texans use electric cars? Mm -hmm. And do you or your students have hand washing ritual before playing instruments? Yeah. Two questions from mm -hmm. our animal, animal loving friend. In yes. England, he's Chris. He's like, oh gosh. He's like, la, 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 la. I don't want to hear. Do they just do say they, they eat dogs? Sharks. Eat sharks. I'm oh, subscribed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I I feel dirty inside. It is. Um, do Texans use electric cars? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, not all Texans. We have a we have a couple of friends. Some that Texans use, that use them. Adam Lamar. Yeah. Who's super Texas. Adam Lamar. Yes. Adam Lamar. He does. Warefoot. Mm -hmm. Used to have an epic beard. One of Aiden's friends. Dad just bought an electric car. Adam has a Prius. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which is funny because people make fun of that. But I've ridden to like concerts with him before. We're in Adam's Prius and we're driving from, you know, Canton to Fort Worth. It's pretty right. Two hours. Like, it was like one gallon of gas to get there. He's like, dude, I fill this thing up like once a week. And he drives all over Texas. It's yeah, like, that's pretty sweet. He kind of, and it was actually pretty comfortable in the front seat. Like I had pl plenty of space. You know, Adam's not a petite man. Right. He's a Texas sized man. He is. And he's he a Texan. And I'm fairly mm -hmm. Girthy. robust. Yeah. You know, You're a Texan. And, and so I was like, it was not, you would think he'd be all like cramped and stuff. It's like, yeah. it actually had a lot like of, you'd have to peel out. Yeah, actually had a lot of space in the Prius. Right. And I was fairly jealous of the gas mileage. I was yeah. like, all right. Maybe. But yes, yeah, so the closer you get to like Dallas, there are actually little stations and hubs where people can plug into, plug their cars into. Mm -hmm. um, they have like meters where they can actually do that. Um, so yes, that is, that is. It is a thing. There are yes. some Texans. But I promise you the trucks outnumber them. Oh my gosh. Um, probably hundred thousand to many, one. There's like 26 million Texans. So there's probably about 25.8 million trucks <laughs> and about maybe 3,000 Priuses. Yeah. Something like that. Something like they that. They exist. They They're do a exist. Thing. You'll see them <laughs> but it's randomly. Like Bigfoot. You don't really <laughs> see it. You hear of it, but you don't necessarily You'll see more see uh, it. Porsches and Lamborghinis. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Ferraris and Dodge Vipers and yeah. Corvettes. Well, you see, you a, lot see of a lot of muscle cars around here. Yeah, that's for sure. And big old pickup mm -hmm. trucks. And lots of trucks. <laughs> um, Chris is next. Just on guitars. Next question: Do you or your students have a hand washing ritual before playing instruments? No. No. We just wash our hands regularly. Yeah. I don't know. What that Not means. before. I mean, well, some people like, oh, gotta get it. You know, gotta get my hands clean. We wash back, back, right, front, between, between. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Thumb, thumb. That's how we do it in, at the hospital. You gotta get your fingernails cleaned off and between your hands, like in between. Did you know the little crack right there between your knuckles gets dirty? But no, not before I play guitar. Yeah. And between students, I usually do, especially now. Um, oh, hand sanitize. And clean. Between students, but yeah, 
really a lot of hand sanitizer. Yeah, but not for... We don't have a lot of time to... Yeah, not for... Not for... A lot of people do that to you know, like prolong the life of their guitar strings mm -hmm. or, or that mm -hmm. kind of a thing. I can imagine that, yeah. Um, you know, especially some people, some people has uh, their body pH is very acidic. Yeah. And some are not. I mean, some people are just naturally... Yeah. You know, your, your oils and your skin and stuff is, can be very corrosive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some people are very corrosive. Yeah. Imagine that. I've met a few. <laughs> but we don't. I don't. Yeah. I never really have been in the habit of like, oh, I'm going to wash my hands before I'm going to play my guitar or before I play drums or whatever. Yeah. Right. I just play. Right. I don't even like wipe it down afterwards. Yeah. It's one of those like... Usually when I change strings on my guitar, that's when yes, I'll give it a good I'm sure your guitar is appreciated. Yeah. yeah. That's why you have multiple guitars. He talks to them. Hey, how are you doing? I'm going to clean you today. You deserve it, don't you? Does that feel good? <laughs> You're so thoughtful. They like it. People talk to their plants. I mean, you know. People talk to their pets. Your pets can't talk back. Guitar. We talked to Ember. She can't talk back, but we talked to her. Guitars are people too. Yeah. Guitars yeah. were once plants. Yeah. <laughs> they were formerly it's like on plants frozen. at one time. Water has a memory. So it is apparently wood. It, it do. It does. And that's the final question. Yeah. That's it for this week. Thank you guys so much for the questions. We hope you have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, yes. and enjoy At this. Please me that. Yeah, enjoy today and this weekend, and uh, enjoy your families, and you know, mm -hmm. have a great weekend. And if you have a question for next week, please leave it below in the comment section of this video. We'll try to answer it. It'll be, it'll be uh, probably a new year. Yeah, looks that way. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, we might film the next one before the new year, but it'll probably come out on. The first, yeah, it'll be in January, it'll be 2021. Mm -hmm. When you see us, when you see the next Ask RNA, it'll be 2021. Yeah. So, if you have a question for then, please. Bing. <laughs> Bing. And if you watch this entire video, we have a secret hashtag of the day. We want you to leave with your comments or by itself to let us know you watched this whole thing and watched us yammer on on Christmas Day when you could have been yes. eating and opening presents. Mm -hmm. And what's the secret hashtag of the day? Do you have an idea? No. <laughs> I think because it's going to be the last Ask RNA of 2020, you should be like, hashtag hit the road 20. <laughs> yes. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Hashtag hit the road 20. Because mm -hmm. it's time for a new year. We need to get on into some other stuff. So I uh, thank you guys. Leave that with your comment down below. You will yeah. know you watched this whole stinking video. And uh, until uh, next time, we will see you again. Mm -hmm. Keep the music alive. Don't forget it. The music needs you. And you need the music. And we need to keep really it alive do. for the next and current generations. Engage. Engage. Yes. Disengage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Disembark. It was, it was neat someone posted that this is the first time we will be able to say that hindsight is actually 2020. <laughs> hindsight will be 2020. Isn't that crazy? Soon, yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, y'all. See you next time. Bye. Bye. And what's crazy is 2030 Ooh. is only 10 years away. Why are you scratching yourself? Because she's silly. She's silly. Did you hear me? 2030 is only 10 years away. Nine years away. 2030! We're getting into like sci-fi movie times. Why do you say these things to me? Because I need to get cracking. <laughs>